Hey there riders, Moto Journal Chris here today. I've just picked up a new set of gloves that I actually got on special at the AMX store, which is one of the local uh, bigger motorcycle shops. These are the Dry Rider Stealth Gloves. I think they're about normally 90 bucks Australian and they're kind of my go-to style glove. Now, as far as the reason for that, it's that they're a summer, kind of all year roundish glove. Certainly here, it doesn't get really much below zero if, if it even gets to zero. So we can get away with a pretty kind of light glove year round. And if you've got heated grips, a glove like this is gonna do the job, particularly if you've got something like Bark Busters offering a little bit of extra wind protection and stuff like that. However, I digress. The reason I like these is that they're a almost full leather. There are some sections where they're the like kind of non-abrasion sections where obviously breathability is a major concern, but all of the major impact areas are leather. And this is, uh, I think they said a premium cowhide leather and there's reinforcements across the palm. There's also reinforcement there. So on the, on the bit of your hand, which is most likely to come down with a bit of force on the road, you've got armor. So you've got like a, I think a TPU armor across the knuckles there as well which does have vents in it. And then you've got vents across the back of the fingers as well, which is nice to see. And then also vents across the back of the hand there. So this is a nice breathable kind of light summer glove, but it's not a full cloth glove with minimal protection. It's still offering a decent amount of protection. Not being a gauntlet style glove does mean that obviously the protection is more limited. But as you can see here, it is up past my wrists. So it's not one of those really short kind of gloves. It's actually offering a little bit more protection than that. And you've just got Velcro strap there. You've also got a little bit of a reinforcement here as well, which is good. I guess in comparison to a more heavy duty glove, like a track glove, you're obviously not getting kind of the bonded two fingers like that. And the protection isn't as high as a full gauntlet, but with that being said, it's like a nice, comfortable glove, particularly for people who don't like really heavy gloves. It's easy to wear. Obviously, I prefer that little bit of extra length there. And I think one of the things that I do like is that it's got some perforated leather across here. However, the full cuff of this glove, it's all leather. And in some of the gloves I've had where they've had a lot of cloth in this area, pulling the glove on, particularly if you're wearing them in the wet and stuff like that, that's a real weak point which wears out. Whereas obviously the construction of this glove is heavy duty enough that I don't think that that'll be a problem. We'll see how we go down the line. I actually had a pair of gloves very, very similar to this a number of years ago that I lost and I was absolutely gutted to lose them. And these look like a fairly direct replacement from Dry Rider and the last pair of gloves were Dry Rider as well. So I'm really, really happy to see uh, that these have returned kind of to the Dry Rider range because to me, a nice, affordable, simple glove, comfortable. They do the job, everything that I need. I'm not after like a track style glove. I'm just after an everyday do it all glove. And I wouldn't really wanna go all that much lighter than this because I do like the protection that these offers. So let me know what your thoughts are on kind of your preferred everyday glove. Are you happy with something like this? Do you go lighter? Do you go a full race gauntlet all the time? Is it just full protection for you? Let me know what you think and uh, yeah, I'll be back soon with an update, probably in six or nine months to tell you how these have handled kind of the rigors of everyday use because that's what it's all about. But for 90 bucks, I think these, realistically speaking, are a great value option here in Australia because I did have a look. Basically, I lost my Argon gloves, which are quite a similar design to these. I have no idea where they went, they just disappeared can't find them anywhere at home or in the garage. So these are a nice, quite cost-effective kind of replacement. I had a look at, you know, some of the pricier brands and they wanted like 150, 160 plus bucks for a set of gloves very similar to this. Whereas to me, $90, not bad at all. Not bad at all. And if these last me a couple of years, I'll be laughing. So yeah, stay tuned for the update. As I said, let me know your preference on gloves and I'll be back soon.